Hi, this is Rick Sandberg. I'm an applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland office. And in this blog, I'm going to discuss one of those little known checkbox, those little checkbox options in SOLIDWORKS that are really easy to overlook. And consequently, you may never use it or figure out a way to use it. In this case, it's the very sketch or VARY sketch option in the linear pattern property manager. First of all, let me just distinguish between a new option that came to us in uh, SOLIDWORKS 2013 called the Instances to Vary. It's a great tool, although this is not the one I'm going to be talking about in this blog, but that's what allows this part to take a slot that was cut in the sheet metal part and vary both the size of that slot and its position for its instances. Great tool for doing these kinds of variations on the top of this part and along the side. But what happens when we have a part like this that has a curved outside surface, a groove cut in it, and we'd love to pattern this groove all the way up the side of this curved surface? Well, the instances to vary option isn't equipped to handle this situation, but the very sketch option is designed specifically for a case like this. So how does it work? Well, there's a couple specific requirements. The first one is that the sketch, uh, the sketch for that feature, for that cut feature, must be constrained to the boundary that defines the variation of the pattern instances. In other words, I need to define the depth of this revolve cut based on the curvature of this outside face. All right, that kind of makes sense. The next thing is that we need to define a dimension in our sketch for this feature that will give us a direction to use in the pattern feature. If you never used a dimension as a direction input for a pattern, this may not make sense, but it will here in a minute. And the last one is that we need a fully defined sketch. So let's take a look at how to do this. The first thing I want to do is I'll want to make all the dimensions in my part visible so that I can select them with my property manager open. Then I'll pick the linear pattern tool and the first input that it needs is a direction for direction one. Typically we'd be picking a sketch line or a linear edge of a body, something like that. But in this case, I'm going to pick this half inch dimension from the sketch of that revolved cut. When I do that, it's really just picking the direction associated with that dimension and is ignoring the half inch value of that dimension. So there you go. We can use a dimension for a direction in a pattern. The next thing that I'll want to do is I'll want to specify the feature that I'm going to pattern, which in this case is the groove. I can give it a spacing and an instance count as normal. And right now you can see that the, <clears throat> the preview is only showing me a couple of instances. That's because it's just going straight up currently until I turn on this very sketch option. Once I do that, nice, it's able to follow all the way up along my surface and produce the pattern that I'm after. This has been a quick overview of the linear pattern very sketch option in SOLIDWORKS. For more helpful videos like this, subscribe to our Hawkridge Systems channel and thanks for watching.